everyone. So for today's video, I wanted to tell you guys about one of the products that I have been using to cut down on my use of plastic waste and single-use plastic. Instead of using toothpaste from a tube, I recently bought this jar of toothpaste tablets from a company called Bite Toothpaste. I started to get ads for Bite toothpaste tablets on Facebook late last year, and I went on their website and I saw that their product was more expensive than the one to two dollar tubes of toothpaste that I could get from the grocery store. So I decided I wasn't gonna make the change just yet. And then recently I started getting more anxiety about climate change and I saw these ads more and more and then I started getting them on Instagram, which is kind of weird, you know, I don't love that. But I looked at their site again and I decided that maybe I should just give it a try. So I bought a four month supply of toothpaste as well as another four month refill. As you can probably tell from this jar, I have gone through about half of it already. Um, this is a four month supply, but my boyfriend uses it, uses it as well. So it's more like a two month supply. I ordered it on June 9th and it came about a week later. And on the day that I'm filming this, it's, Ju it's uh, July 30th. So it's been almost two months. This is the fresh mint flavor. They also have fresh mint with activated charcoal as well as a berry flavor that they use, um, that they market more as being for children. Um, the tablets come in this glass jar in a box and then the refills come in, in, a, in a bag, which I know is recyclable. I don't think it's compostable, but I'm not sure. I can't remember and I don't have the, um, the instructions that came with it. So first I will talk about the price because that is the main factor for why I didn't switch to this sooner. They offer one-time purchases as well as a subscription service. I paid $25 for the toothpaste in the jar and I think they were running some kind of discount if you also got the subscription. So that's what I ended up doing. And I also got the refill, but what I didn't realize is that I had actually purchased the refill. I intended to just get this um, and I thought I'd remove the refill from my cart, but I hadn't. Um, so I don't know if that was my error or if it's just like the way the site is. It didn't show up in my cart, but it was still there. You're not supposed to buy the refill until this is actually empty. It says on the instructions to immediately transfer it to the glass jar, but as you can see, there's stuff in here still because I messed up. Um, you, one good thing about it is that you can change when you want to receive the order. So if you go at, if you go through it more quickly than you, than you anticipated, or if for some reason you have like a week or two left over, um, you can modify the order date as you need to. They also have a one month supply, which is a much smaller jar, and it's also only $12 plus shipping um, in case you wanna just try it and you don't wanna commit yourself to the subscription service. You can also cancel that at any time, but I'm not sure about the process of that because I don't, I haven't gone through it. So now I'm gonna actually talk about what I think about the product. So on the label, it says to place one bit in your mouth, bite down, and brush with a wet toothbrush. It is a little weird to get used to biting down on toothpaste tablet at first because um, we're all used to pastes for the most part, but you only need to bite down like once or twice. You don't need to chew it for an extended period of time or anything like that. And then it lathers up just like regular toothpaste does, and then you can just brush as you normally would. I like the foaminess of toothpaste because it makes me feel like I'm getting a more effective clean. And this, once you don't have it in tablet form anymore, virtually indistinguishable from um, toothpaste. The ingredients are xylitol, which is in sugar-free gum, erythritol, calcium carbonate, which happens to be the active ingredient in Tums, natural mint flavor, guar gum, sodium coil isethionate, menthol, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, rice extract, zinc citrate, and silicon dioxide. And it says that it's all natural, sulfate free, and cruelty free. I really like this stuff because not only is it satisfying to know that I'm not adding toothpaste tubes to the landfill anymore, but also because this really makes me feel like I have a clean mouth. Like I've used other toothpaste brands that don't foam up as much, and it makes me feel like I haven't brushed my teeth at all. I've also noticed, I don't know if there's a correlation with this or if I'm just brushing better, but I also notice I don't get as much like plaque buildup between brushes, which is kind of gross to talk about, but I mean, that's why we brush our teeth, to clean them. And it might be because these tablets are like more granular at first when you first start chewing on them, um, as opposed to a paste, which is just smooth all the way around. But again, I don't know if there's actually a correlation. 
or if I've just it's just like a psychological thing that I've just started brushing better now that it, this is different. I don't know. But now we will move on to the critique of the product because obviously this is not perfect. Um, firstly, some of the tablets arrived broken, but it was really just some of the ones on top. So I just put a bunch of the pieces in my mouth and chewed on them. Um, they, I mean, stuff happens during the shipping process and also they don't use bubble wrap because their whole thing is to reduce plastic waste. So it was wrapped in plenty of paper instead. Um, so, I mean, obviously there's some differences there. The main thing though is that after like a week of keeping this in my bathroom cabinet, the humidity from my showers was causing the tablets to start to break down and stick together and also stick to the side of the jar. Um, one thing I will say though, I do use the fan when I shower, but I live in a basement, so the ventilation is not the greatest. So obviously if that's not your situation, this might not happen, but I would recommend that if it starts to happen, I mean, I keep this on my dresser and I only take it into the bathroom when I need to brush. But other than that, um, I really like this product. Also, um, my, I was, as I mentioned before, my boyfriend uses this as well. He was pretty skeptical at first. Um, he told me that he had wanted to just sort of um, go to the store and buy toothpaste, which obviously he could have. I wouldn't have stopped him. I'm not going to, you know, make him use this if he doesn't like it. But now that we've both been using it for two months, he told me that he actually prefers it because you don't get more than you need. As you can see, the tablets are like pretty small um, and you don't need to use more than one. Um, and it's potentially more wasteful if you use a tooth, like tube of toothpaste because there's really no limit. I mean, there is a limit, a physical limitation of the toothbrush, but not everybody uses the same amount um, and is consistent with how much they put on the toothbrush. So there's that. But yeah, I, they're not sponsoring this video or anything. I just wanted to provide some information for people who might be wanting to make the switch, switch from um, toothpaste tubes to tablets. Um, one thing I will say though is obviously this is one of the more pricier options on the market. Just off the top of my head, Lush has options for a lot cheaper. It's like ten ninety five per two ounces or something like that, and I don't know about the quantity, you know, how many toothpaste tablets they're offering in a single container, but obviously they do a similar thing, more sustainable approach. They use different types of packaging and stuff, so that's also an option. Anyway, that's all I have for now, and I hope that the information I provided was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day, or night, or whenever you're watching this.